Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Claxton, and the reason you probably clicked on this link is because you want to learn what a permutation is. Either that or you just like watching my videos, which is super cool too. Anyways, the term permutation, or to permutate, by definition, pull out my handy dandy dictionary here, is a way, especially one of several possible variations, in which a set or a number of things can be ordered or arranged. So the easiest way for me to describe that would be to take an accent or a note and shift it every possible way through a specific subdivision. Now the subdivision we're going to be talking about today is 16th notes and we're going to use all the examples on the bass drum. So here I'm going to play a basic rock beat and I'm going to have all the kick drums on all the down beats, other words referred to as four on the floor. Check it out. Now here's where we actually shift the accent, or in other words, permutate. Now in a 16th note subdivision, you have the 1, the E, the AND, and the A. Uh. So what we'll do is we'll go through a bar of each, doing all the E's, all the AND's, and all the A's. Uh just like this. Alright, so you know how to permutate. Thanks for watching! No, I'm just kidding, I'm not letting you off that easily. Now there's another 11 combinations to go through in 16th notes. Next up, we're going to be talking about two notes at a time. The two most obvious ones would be to play straight eighth notes, so one and two and three and four and, and then the upbeats of all those, so one E and A, uh, two E and A, uh, three E and A, uh, four E and A. Uh. Sounds a little something like this. Now let's deal with the rest of the twos. For starters, you have one E. The next one, you have E and. The one after that, you have and a. Uh, and then the last one is a uh, one. So it sounds a little something like this. Now that's it for the twos. Next up is the threes. Now the threes go through the same thing that the twos basically go through, but obviously there's one extra note. So it's going to go one E and all the way through, and then E and a uh all the way through, and then one and a, uh, and then one E a. Uh. I know that's a little confusing, but let's try it. If you were paying attention at all, I told you that there was 11 combinations. What I just went through was only 10. Can you guess what the last one would be? Well, it's all four notes. So in other words, you play the bass drum straight through from the start of the beat to the very end of the beat. Kidding, it's not that bad. So now I want to bring all this together and do a bar of every single permutation, starting with the downbeats all the way to doing four of them all together, everything else in between. Now I suggest you pick your temples wisely though. Just because you can play a rock beat at about this speed, when it comes down to doing the threes, it's going to be a lot harder for you to execute it. I mean that wasn't bad, but it's still not perfect. I suggest you start slow and build it up once you get comfortable. Anyways, here we go, but watch for the transitions between permutations, they'll get ya.
lost it a little bit at the end there. But see what I mean? Even at a consistent tempo, it's fine when it starts in the beginning, but once you get to those threes and fours, it gets a little bit more challenging. So that was Permutations 101, but we're really just scraping the very bottom of the barrel here. There's actually endless possibilities of what you can do with this. I did everything in a 16th note subdivision only on my kick drum, but you could do the exact same thing with your right hand, with your left hand, with your left foot. You could do ostinatos underneath things and actually permutate on top or vice versa. Again, endless possibilities. Watch out for Permutations 102 where I'll dive into that a little bit further. But as always, thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you dig it. Subscribe if you haven't. Till next time. That was pretty cool. Or a number of things can be ordered or arranged. Or arranged. Or arranged. Or arranged. Or arranged. So the easiest way for me to describe that would be to taking to take an accent. Ah. Take a hundred.